What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're checking out Stranded Sails, Explorers of the Cursed Islands, which seems a bit like an adventure game mixed with like Stardew Valley and some other stuff. And so I've actually been really excited to dive on into this one and let's share this adventure together, shall we? It's time for indie games. Who are you right? No, I'm wrong. Always. Eternally wrong. I just can't help myself. Hopefully everybody goes around calling me Mr. Wrong all day. Mm. Hello world. Today's a big day. You're going on a great adventure. On a voyage to the other side of the big ocean. To a place of wild forests and frozen glaciers. You also had a weird dream this night. Something about an exotic island and a talking parrot and a shipwreck washed ashore. Could it have meant something? You're not sure. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a note from your father. You should read it. Okay, let's go read the note from my dad. Good morning, my child. I hope you have had a good sleep and are well rested for our great journey. The crew and I are already making preparations at the docks. Please come as soon as you can. We would not want to leave without you. P.S. I've left you a backpack as a late birthday present. I packed it with some essentials for the journey. Make sure that you bring it with you. All right. P.P.S. Do not bother with any of our furniture. The future owners will surely want to keep all of it. Okay. Sounds like a plan to me. Uh, is this the backpack right here? Yeah, let me get that backpack though. Yup, now we got that adventure backpack. Let's go outside and see what the world looks like. Okay, we gotta meet our father over at the docks. We've got a little bit of the running skipping action going on. I don't think it's good luck to dream about a shipwreck the night before you go out on a ship. I'm not superstitious, but I'm kind of stitious. And so, like, I would not get on that ship that day. I'd be like, I guess I'll catch the next one. Like, hopefully I dream of, like, candy and ice cream the next time around. Docks where our entire city seems to be a dock. Uh, do we have a map? No, we don't have a map. Okay, we don't have a map. It's Kirsten Melcher's fault. I don't know who Kirsten Melcher is, but that's what it said down at the... Is that my dad? Ahoy, wrong, my child. It is great to see you. I hope that last night in your old bed was a good one. A strange dream, you say? How peculiar. Well, don't think about it too much. Ho-ho! When I was young, I had a lot of wild dreams, too. Let us look forward to our great voyage to the snow-covered mountains and forests on the far side of the ocean. Are you ready for this grand adventure? Hell yeah! Let's do it! Alright, it's good to see you as excited as I am. We're almost ready to leave. Please, my child, bring your backpack into our cabin and return to me. I have one last task for you before we can set sail. Okay. Let's go to the cabin. In the cabin. Is this my bed? This is my bed. Okay. Dude, we're in the captain's cabin right now. We're kind of a baller. Great, wrong. Now we have everything together except for one very important thing. We need a barrel of apples from the warehouse behind the ship. What would we do on such a long voyage without some juicy apples to keep us fresh? Be so kind and load a barrel onto the ship, my child. Okay. Oh, that dude's... Oh, I thought he had a bandana. That's a beard. I thought he had a super rad bandana, and I was like, how do I get a rad bandana? Uh, where's the barrel? Right here? We gotta make sure we don't end up with scurvy. Bleeding gums are never a good sign. Way hey, we're going back to the ship. We're sailing board to Cuba. This entire series, I can already tell, is just going to be a mismatch of me singing songs from Assassin's Creed Black Flag. All right. That's just what's going to happen. There we go. Perfect. Uh, let's see here. Talk to him. Let's go. Thank you for loading the barrel, my child. Now everything is prepared and we're ready to leave. Let me inform the crew. All hands on deck. Prepare to lift the anchor. Wrong, my child. It's time. You may cut the lines so that we are able to leave this city once and for all. All right, let's whack the lines. Oh, we can actually climb the rigging too? That's pretty rad. Huh, I didn't expect that. We actually get to be like a proper midshipman. There we go. We'll go ahead and untie that line right there. Yep, this mooring needs to go. Perfect. We probably should have done the one closest to the paddock first, but I'm sure that this thing has brakes on it or something. Like, just pop the parking brake real fast. Thank you, my child. Fritz and Logan are preparing to lift the anchor. Please, wrong. You are light and nimble, a perfect fit for tasks up on the mast. Would you climb the rigging and lower the sails for me? Start with the sail behind me and work your way to the front. All right. Let's go. Now we got to let the caravel down. All right. Perfect. And then we'll go down this way. 
Actually, I think that's a flying jib. I don't know my ship terminology, though. I've never worked on a ship, so unfortunately, I'm probably going to get... Let's just not talk about ship parts, because I'm going to get it wrong. I was not born into a wealthy family that's able to sail, all right? Sailing is definitely an exercise of the wealthy. Uh, can I go up here? Doesn't look like there's anything I need to set. I don't think I need to do anything up there. We don't have, like, a little sail on the top or whatever. Uh, back down we go. All right, and then to the front sail, and to the top. Oh, I gotta climb from the left side, no matter what. Sounds good. Let's do it. Up we go. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. I wanna shimmy, shimmy, shimmy till the break of dawn. Yeah. All right, down we go. Q. Let's do this thing. The ship seems pretty nice. Like a nice little Dutchman. <laughs> Thank you, my child. Let us say farewell to this gray and narrow city. Soon we will be on the high seas, sailing towards our destination into a better future for each of us and a life full of opportunities. Yeah, that's what everybody says before things go wrong. That's what the Donner Party said, too, before they were eating each other in a crevasse. Howdy. So nice to see you, my dear. Who are you? I'm glad we're leaving the city for good. I'm really curious about what new kinds of fish we'll catch. Heh! <laughs> So excited to finally leave the city, off to a new and unknown land. Yeah. All right. Wrong. How nice to see you. All right, my child. The weather's looking good. We seem to be on the right course, and there is not much to do except enjoy the breeze. A great opportunity for you to learn more about the crew. I'm sure they'd also love to talk to you. Please, be so kind and visit each of them for a small chat. All right. Hiya, wrong. This weather's gorgeous, right? The salty breeze and blazing sun are just perfect. After losing my farm to the factories in the city, I'm so excited about the chance to start over somewhere else. I'm glad to have met you here on board, Wrong. All right. Huh? It's you, Wrong. There's just about as much room on this ship as there was in the city. Not enough. We're about halfway there, so I guess we'll live through it. When we've arrived, the first thing I'll do is look for a remote spot, build a shack, and just enjoy the freedom. Sounds like the life, man. Yeah. Bonjour, Wrong. What do you want from me? Know what I'm about? Well, I want to find new things to use in my kitchen. Find new and exciting recipes to impress the world with. Does that answer your question? Great. Could you leave me alone then? I got some more things to prepare for the arrival. <laughs> Oi, landlubber. I hope ye don't mind me calling ye that. Ha <laughs> ha. It's just a beauty, ain't she? Can you feel how smooth it rides the waves? So graceful. Whoever built this ship was a master of their craft. I dream of being able to create such a masterpiece one day. Okay. <gasps> What's up? The sun's blazing, man. I hope it doesn't burn my dome. I really don't want to damage my gray matter from a sunstroke. Wrong. I was wondering, could I keep up with the ship's speed while swimming? Definitely too risky to try, even for me. I'll just resort back to trying to fish a big sea monster with my fishing rod. Alright. <sighs> Hello, my dear. It's nice to see you. I was looking forward to our time on the ship. Silence only interrupted by the sounds of wind and waves. Really relaxing, honestly. I'll knit you some warmer clothes once we arrive. You've grown up so much since we met. I really could see following in the footsteps of your dear father. Oh, wrong. I'm getting all sentimental again. Why don't you talk to the others while I reminisce about old times? Okay. Good day, Wrong. It's nice to see you around here with us on the adventure. I really miss swinging my hammer. I miss the melody of steel hitting steel, sparks flying in the heat of the forge. Wrong, one day I'm going to be back at it. I will forge the most delicate tools and weapons. I could even try it on this ship. If I was not sure what your father would throw at me over the ra or throw me over the railing, yeah, you could give it a go, but I don't think fires on a ship are a good idea. Ahoy, I see you're getting along well with everybody. That's great. I'm sure even Cecile will want to talk to you more once we arrive. Wait, what was that? A colorful bird. I don't see it anymore. We must have landed somewhere on the ship. Check it out, Wrong. Maybe you can catch it. Okay, I'm going to get a pet parrot. Let's do it. Where's he at? Well, he's not out on the mast. So, you know, not the mast. The whatever the hell that thing is. The ship dong. I don't know what that thing's called, okay? The ship, the ship wiener. I guess we'll climb up over here, possibly. No? I guess not. Where's the bird at? I didn't see it. Let's go. Time for more shimmy, and I bet you it's all the way up on the poop deck, which precisely is not what you should do up there. If you do that, the captain's going to get mad at you. I learned that the hard way, so don't do that. This is the bird. It's a parrot. It reminds me of a bird I saw in my dream right before we left the city, although this one doesn't want to talk. It looks at me curious and excited. Something happened. It beats its wings and becomes agitated. It's a sturm! Uh, can I just, like, leap down like a master? Or, like, swing down Errol Flynn style? 
Ahoy, my child. Have you managed to get a hold of that bird? It flew away. Well, I am sure as to why. As you notice, the weather's taking a turn for the worse. The bird flew off somewhere, which means there must be land nearby. That would be good news if we weren't supposed to see land in about two weeks. Hope we didn't get off course somewhere along the way. Also, the storm gathering right above us makes me very urgent or er, anxious. Quick wrong. Go and seek shelter in the cabin. All right, to the king's cabin. Onwards. The storm intensifies, trying to tear the ship apart. Powerful waves toss it around like a nutshell. Planks are creaking and ready to burst. Finally, the ship crashes against something massive, and blackness prevails. Oof. Apparently, we didn't make it. Ugh, what happened? The last thing you remember is falling, then breaking through the waves. You're so exhausted. What might have happened to your father and the crew? You should investigate the island. Maybe you can find them. Okay, well, let's have a look around and see if we can find them. Don't get exhausted is the name of the game. All right. Well, I'm going to try my best. It appears as though I've got an energy meter right there. Seems like a pretty small island. Unless there's a bridge over here. Hey, there's one of our guys. <laughs> Oi, wrong. So I was right to see you laying over there. Sorry if I didn't help you. I only just got up myself. I'm sure you noticed this as well, but wherever we are doesn't seem like the place we were setting out for. This is a little too tropical for a snow-covered tundra. Damn, I'm dizzy. My head feels like a cracked walnut. You don't look so good either. You should eat an apple from the barrel over there. You'll feel better. All right, let's apple it on up. Hey, landlubber, you look a lot better now. Told you that apple would help. Good thing we took that barrel with us, huh? Always be aware of your energy, want or Ron. We wouldn't want you to pass out in the middle of nowhere. My head still hurts. I guess I must have hit something when we crashed. Don't worry, I'll be fine, though. Just like you, I've got no clue what happened to the others. I can see that big part of our beautiful ship stranded on the island next to us. Our best bet to find the others would be to get over there and check it out. We should try building a raft to get us across the deep water. How about I gather some of those shredded planks around here while you look for the other stuff we need. We'll need a sail, a mast, and something to tie it all together. I'm sure you can find something useful in all the clutter. Alright, well, let me get another apple real quick. There we go. So we need a sturdy rope. There's a little critter right there. He ducked and covered when he saw us. So we need to gather a sturdy rope. There's our sturdy rope. We need a torn sail. That'll probably work. And then we also needed a broken mast. Yeah, let's lift this and bring it back. All right, so I think we're golden right now. There it is. Oh, it dropped it on the ground. I thought I picked it up. We'll have to go back and pick up the other stuff. There we go. Cool. Let's go get the rope. And let's drop it off with our boy over here. Hopefully we pl have plenty of apples left over because I need to quench my hunger. Yeah, there we go. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> hey, landlubber. Great, you found all the parts. Oh, man, my head is killing me. I still can't see straight. I think we're better off with you assembling the raft. We don't want it to look all crooked and such. I put some rough instructions on that pile of planks. I'm sure you'll figure out how to put it together. All right, let's go. You found all the items necessary to build a raft. You will need following items. Yeah, just build it. It's actually a pretty good raft right there. Hey. Oi, landlubber. That's a fine-looking raft that you've built over there. I hope it's not just because my eyes aren't working right, huh? Let's see if that thing is solid enough to carry us to the other side. Jump on the raft and we're off. All right, let's go. Hey. What a ride. Your raft sure wasn't the sturdiest, but at least we made it. Although the rough journey did do my head any good. I think I'll stay here for a while and try to recover, huh? Why don't you try to find the crash part of our beautiful ship? Maybe there's someone or something left. I'll be right here if you need me. Okay, let's go look around. We've got some tropical palms on this side. We've got some loverly flowers. Some other beauteous things happening. And we'll walk the shore real fast and see if we can find the ship. Anybody over here got anything for me? Yes, no, there it is. Knew we'd stumble across it eventually. Let me see if I can get my backpack out of the stuff inside. Hey, we got more survivors, nice. Oh, wrong. I'm so glad to see you're okay. We were really worried about you and the rest of the crew. I've managed to only hurt my arm a little, but your father, Charles, he was hurt badly during the storm. <coughs> Oof. Ahoy, my child. It warms my heart to see you alive and well. After our unexpected misadventure, I could only hope for your well-being. I was a little worried about our course when we were on the high seas, and it seems like there was a reason for it. This place we're stranded on doesn't look like the frigid landscape we wanted to end up on. Well, wrong. I think that should probably be the least of our worries right now. It seems like the crew has been split up, and as you see, I haven't emerged unscathed from the unfortunate event either. 
Don't worry, Wrong. My old bones have seen worse. A few days of recovery and I'll be back on my feet. Fiola will make sure of that. You brought Sven with you. That's great to hear. I'm sure sooner or later we'll have the whole crew reunited. You look tired, which is no surprise. You've earned yourself a good nap. Use the other bed to get some rest. Don't worry. Fiola will take care of Sven and me. All right. Well, let's go ahead and use the bed then. I'm trying to get to the gameplay right now. I want to get straight into it. Okay. Ahoy, my child. You, uh... You look well rested. Sleeping will restore some of your energy. Whenever you feel exhausted, you should eat or take a nap. It seems that we're stuck on this island for a bit. Before we start looking for the others, we have to make sure that we can survive here. We'll need room to live and a steady source of food. I sent Fiola to check out the surrounding area. It seems to be usable as a campsite. She'll be looking for a usable farming ground there, too. Would you mind and go and see if you could help her with anything? I'm not sure if she's able to do the hard work with that hurt arm of hers. Although this isn't the actual goal of our great voyage, I'm certain everything's going to be fine in the long run. If we stick and work together, anything is possible. We'll be able to leave this place and reach our final destination. That, I am sure of. Go now, Wrong. Help Fiola with the first step of our endeavor and meet her at the campsite. Alright, let's do it. What is that right there? Like, key items? Okay, cool. Uh, we needed to go... Oh, there's greenery over here. Well, that's good. That bodes well. At least it's not all, like, super sandy, loamy... I mean, sorry, it's not sandy, like, clayish soil, so that's good. Should be able to use it. And apparently I can inspect an item. I don't think I need to. Hey, yeah, uh, I'm up since the first sunlight. I'm so excited. Even if this was not the raw wilderness we set out for, I'm just happy to stand in a field again. It seems we'll be staying here for a while, so this means we need a farming ground as a steady source of food. Unfortunately, I can't set it up myself because of my arm, you know. I was able to salvage some of the tools we brought with us from the beach. They're going to come in handy with our new enterprise. Would you mind helping me with the farming ground? I promise you're going to feel good after a long day working with your bare hands. The sun warms your skin and the fresh breeze roughens your hair. Sounds great, right? It's great that there's someone like you that I can count on. Please, take this shovel. Use it to prepare the soil fields so that we can plant some corn. I fenced off the fertile ground for you already. Keep in mind that digging is hard work and will cost you a lot of energy. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Uh, it looks like I can automatically go over to the shovel right here. Looks okay to me. Can we dig right there? So we need three crop fields. Let's put them all together. Perfect. This marks the first step in establishing our own little camp. Now it's time for you to sow the first seeds. Luckily, I managed to keep some of my seeds on me during the shipwreck. Here, take these corn seeds. They're going to keep us fed once they're ready to harvest. Sow them on the fields that you've prepared. All right, hopefully they grow fast. So we can go after... We got that right there, and then we can choose a seed. Oh, you click on them. Okay, that looks good. So now we're clicked on. We can actually, like, plant these and make them look good. Dude, these are like corn saplings. Great job, Wrong. It looks like you have a green thumb. The next thing to do is water the sprouting crops. Take this bucket. You can use it to gather fresh water from the spring over there. Carry it over and water them. Okay. Sounds like something I can potentially handle. Oh, there's different categories. Okay, makes sense. I see it now. Um, Let's go ahead and... Oh, there's the spring right there. Okay, and let's fill it on up. Definitely takes a bit of energy, though. All right, let's come on over and we'll water these crops, get them all nice and growy. Perfect. Well done. Always remember, your crops will grow and ripen for as long as they have water. If the soil below them looks dry, they're going to need more water. Most crops can go without it for a few days, but they will die if you don't take care of them for too long. Now, all we can do here is wait for the corn to ripen so you can harvest it. We should use this time to set up a cooking station for you to cook some food. We also need something for the rest of us, but we'll take care of that later. Sven told me that you have some talent in building things. That's great. Would you help me again in setting up that cooking station? I made a list of things we need for a proper kitchen. I've seen many of the utensils we brought with us scattered around the beach. I'm sure you'll find the things we need down there. Just explore a little bit. I'll prepare the foundation for the cooking station while you're searching. All right. So we need a cooking pot. We need kitchen utensils and a roasting pan. Okay. Well, let's have a look around. I don't suppose any of them are actively on the boat right now, right? No, it looks like nothing's on the boat at the moment. 
So let's walk the beach, I guess. We'll see if we find anything good. So over this way, I really wish that I could sprint, but we lose so much energy for using our sprint that I think I'm going to have to wait until we get some kind of upgrade or some kind of thing that makes us better at running. Uh, we've got a cook pot over here. Looks good. Number one. We got some treasure over there, like a chest or something. Next, we need kitchen utensils. We got a turtle on that side. What is this? Ah, the kitchen utensils. Nice. So we found two out of three. Now we just need the roasting a pan. That way, we can actually roast ourselves up. Dude, corn is so good. There is nothing better than some corn that you put on a grill and just like let it sit there, like slathered in butter and like salts and stuff. Like, oof, that's the good stuff right there. All right, so there's all the goodies. Let's go back and we'll build this cooking station. Hopefully we don't run out of energy along the way. I don't think that turtle wants anything to do with us. I was trying to make myself a tortuga. I was, I was trying to make myself like an amigo out of the tortuga, but unfortunately, not workable. All right, so here's our foundation. Let's whip it on out and get this done. Build away, my friend. You should talk to Fiola first. All right, I'll do that. But only because I'm a nice guy, not because you told me to. The cooking station looks great. Nice job. Now you just need some produce to cook with. Check on your crops and harvest them when they're ripe. If not, well, you'll have to kill some time. You can explore the beach further, but be careful not to get too far away. You might get lost like the others, and I wouldn't want to lose you again. Okay. Well, that stuff's definitely not done. So let's explore a little bit and, like, see what we find around. Oh, I can't just, like, jump off. Okay, I was hoping I could. Can I walk down this thing over here? No, I doubt it. I don't think it's going to let me walk on that side. Actually, our energy's kind of bottomed out right now, so I think I'll just take a nap. I'm going to go crash out for a minute. Maybe the crops will be good to go after that. There you go. Now we're looking all energetic. And we crashed out like all day and all night. It was like 12 in the afternoon right there, and we decided to take a sleep, and it just like, you ever slept from 12 p.m. all the way to like 7 a.m. the next day? That's a long sleep right there. That's a pretty solid chunk of sleep. What I'm getting from this is that I shouldn't use my sprint, though. My sprint seems to be a very, very real foul, and we shouldn't do it. Hey, we've got our kern right here. There we go. Got some corn seeds out of the deal. A cob of corn. Nice. Kind of just grab that for the moment. It looks like the stocks actually stay up. So that means that potentially I can put in a couple more rows. I'll probably put in some corners over here, I guess. Wasn't trying to be punny right there. That wasn't my intent, you know, corners, but it just kind of happened. Please don't punish me, Internet. It was an accidental dad joke deployment. I didn't, I didn't mean to. All right, so now we need to get the crop seeds. I've only got two of those, but it should be good enough. Throw those in, and all that needs to be watered. So those are good for a couple of days, according to what the game said. We'll come back and grab our water bucket. Fill that on up. There we go. I wonder how you tell how much water you have left. Maybe the filling in the background like, goes down as you're doing your thing? Well, you have to water it twice. I just need like, the one-time water. There you go. Okay. Ooh, wrong. Those cobs look so great. It's an awesome feeling to hold something in your hands that you've earned all by yourself, huh? I just love this feeling. That's why I became a farmer, too. Now you're ready to put that cooking station to good use. Try it. It'll show you how to make corn on the cob. Nice, dude. I love corn on the cob. Best day ever. Okay, so we've got corn on the cob over here. Let's cook serve delicious, shall we? Yeah. Now, let me guess. We've got three people, so I'm going to have to deliver one of these to each person, right? I ain't going hungry, so I grew the food. Somebody's going to have to take this one on the chin. I can smell the deliciousness from here. With such tasty food in your bags, you can be more confident while exploring. If you lack energy, just take a bite, and you should be able to continue for a while. I'm excited to see what else you can cook if you find other ingredients. Should you find some on your future exploration trips, you can discover new recipes on your own. Your father would want to know about your recent achievements, so go and visit him. All right, let's go and visit him real fast. <laughs> Hey, landlubber. Fiola picked me up at the beach. It's great to see her again. She's waiting for you over there in the field. She said she'd look for a good spot to make a camp. Talk to her. I'm sure she has something for you to do. Okay, I didn't know if you had, like, an extra secondary quest that we could get down with. Let's move down this way, though, and see how this whole thing plays. What's up, Dad? Ahoy, my child. Did it go well with Fiola at the campsite? 
Oh, that's extraordinary. You managed to set up a farming ground and a cooking station. I'm really proud of you. As a father, it's often great to see you grow and succeed. I'm looking forward to what this adventure has in store for all of us, but especially for you. One day, you might be able to take care of your own crew. My child, I think you'll have to represent me for a little bit. The extent of my injuries is larger than I had anticipated. I'll manage. Have no worries. You'll just need to be there for the crew while I'm tied to this bed. Take my map, child. If I'm not mistaken, it represents exactly the island we're on. I found it in between my old souvenirs. Don't ask me how I got it, because I can't remember. Use it to navigate the unexplored and quickly return to our camp, but please, wrong. Never leave the camp unprepared. Keep your bags filled with food and use it to stay active on your trips. This island seems to be of enormous size. It's not unlikely that the rest of the crew has been washed ashore. Please, bring the crew back. Alright. Sounds good to me. We got nothing else going on. Might as well. So we can actually, like, break out the map right here if we want to. Okay, so it looks like it leads down to something over there with an X on the map. Alright, we can open our inventory from here. I don't have any ingredients right now, so unfortunately that's not going to be that great of an option. But I'm trying to get the tooltips to go away. Select a food item. Well, there you go. Yep, eat that corn. Om nom 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 nom. Uh, I'm going to explore down this way and just kind of see what we find today. Yeah, just like hopping merrily along while I shove food in my face. Precisely what I was going for. Is there anything down here? Nope, just a dead end. Just a little bit of a dead end right there. Don't think I need the map for right now, but maybe we'll find something good out and over this way. Like some craftables, something I can pick up. Let me get my gloves back. So I can't pick up those berries right there, those flowers or whatever they are. I don't see anything back this way. Maybe I'll keep the map out just in case. How far down does this go? Oh, there's different areas. There's like little separate locations. Okay. Well, this place is marked with an X, so I think we should check this out just in case the game has a sword or like something we can protect ourselves with. I honestly have no idea if this is that kind of game, but from the controls, it kind of feels like it might be. Like, I don't know if this is more Harvest Moon or more Stardew Valley. We're going to have to get a little bit further into the game before we figure it out. So far, nothing interesting down here. About up the shore this way. Hey, there's one of our lost boys. What's up, dude? Hey, it's you, Ron. Good to see a familiar face. After the ship broke into pieces, I held onto a plank until I washed ashore. How's it going? Are you with the others? So you already set up shop. It'd be best if I join you, wouldn't it? Let's return to the camp. I'm sure I can help you guys out. All right, let's return. I didn't see anything else on that side, so wrong. Thank you for rescuing me. Give me a minute to get myself composed. Yeah, for sure, man. Well, we'll go talk to the old man real fast while we wait on that. I'm sure he's got some more words to spit at me about this entire predicament. With a capital dick. Let's go up in here. <coughs> Ahoy, wrong. You found Logan and brought him back. It's great news, the best I've heard all day. I'm sure that you'll be the one to reunite our crew in this new land. Logan will know a lot of things about how to consolidate our camp. Please, my child, talk to Logan and figure out what he has planned. Will do, pops. All right, let's swing back on through and see what Logan has happening right here. I bet we're going to build, like, a warehouse or something else for him. We can, like, store goodies maybe that we can craft from. Where did he go? He wandered off. He was here for, like, an eighth of a second, and now he's gone. There he is. Now you're gone. Logan, it's time to come home. It's a fine start y'all have made here, but I think there's something essential missing. You have your father's cabin, but we also need a roof above our heads. Come on, Rong, show me what you got. The first thing we need are tools to build a crafting station. If we've got that, we can make basic building materials. I'll create the foundation of our crafting station. You search the debris on the beach for the tools that we lost during the crash. Go, Rong, and let me do my part. All right, cool, man. Sounds good to me. I will be the village gopher, so we might as well get to digging. I honestly don't know where we're going to be looking for this stuff. I've already searched that beach over there, so my guess is that it's probably down this way. Since we found Logan over there, it's either going to be up in this area or it's going to be down in this area. But we'll kind of have to take... Oh my god, there's so many islands. It's a really big game. I'm excited about playing it, though. I hope you guys are excited about what this thing has on offer. I'm assuming that right now they've got us in a rather lengthy tutorial to get us kind of like settled in and bedded down with the gameplay concepts. I'll see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. This game is called Stranded Sails. Hope you guys liked it. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie gaming every single day so you don't have to. If you liked the game, you can get it down below in the description. I've always got a link for you down there. Other than that, I'll have something hot and fresh for you tomorrow in the world of indie gaming. 
Hi do and take care everybody. So far I'm pleased with this one. The presentation looks really, really nice. Controls are working pretty good. I do think that the menu system could be consolidated a little bit, but that's really the only thing that's jumped out at me as of right now, is that the menu system is probably designed for consoles would be my guess. And so anyways, it works perfectly fine, but it's not designed in such a way that you would think this is like a PC game only. So I'm guessing this game has a release on other platforms too. How you doing? Take care everybody. I'll see y'all next time.